Hello, this is Borna from Borna.tv, and today I want to talk about how to create some ringtones. And I want to, uh, I, I, I was sitting here on my live stream at live.borna.tv and uh, just up and decided to uh, make a ringtone. Uh, I had found this program, Audio Overload, from Chris Perillo Stream, and I found uh, a game, Sonic the Hedgehog, some sounds from it. And um, I wanted to make a ringtone out of a couple of the sounds. So I want to demonstrate how to do this. Because I get people who ask me, how did you make that ringtone? How do you do that? How do you do this? Blah, blah, blah. It's going to consist of two programs. Audio Overload for one to play the sound. And I'm going to use Audio Hijack Pro to record and capture that sound. And uh, then I'm going to use my, my lowbrow <laughs> homegrown technique of renaming the file, converting the file to AAC and then changing the extension, which is kind of a tedious process. But, you know, it's fun to me. I don't know why. You know, I could easily go out and buy, uh, I can go out and buy iToner and all these other programs where I can just drag and drop it. But, you know, that's no fun. <laughs> so here's the sound that I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to play, and I don't, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this, but I'm going to try it anyway. So that's a cool sound, right? So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hijack Audio Overload within, uh, within Audio Hijack Pro. And the way to do this is I click the plus sign here at the bottom left. And it's going to ask me to select the source. Now, in this case, I want to select an application, which is the default. I can do audio device, AM, FM, radio, blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to do uh, application, and I can do select here. And, uh, okay, I was a little bit impatient there. And what it'll do is that it'll give me a list of the recent applications and active applications. That's kind of convenient, right? And I'll pick audio overload. And the next thing I'll do is I'll click hijack. So now you can see by the icon that that particular uh, application is being hijacked. So when I go over here and play a sound now, I should see activity and I see it. So that means that it's working. So now it's pretty simple. I'm just going to go to I'm going to um, go to recording here and everything looks fine in the recording. I'm going to do MP3. Um, but you can do other formats as well. I'm going to do MP3 VBR 128 KBPS Joint Stereo. And I'm going to click record. And as soon as I click record, I'm going to go over here and start the uh, sound so we can uh, get the ringtone. So I'm going to first click record and it's going to record audio overload. And I think that's enough. So I'm going to get about 35 seconds of it. And okay, I'll hit record again and to stop it. So now I'll go into my recording bin in Audio Hijack Pro. That's where I can get a view of all my recent recordings. And at the bottom, there's an audio overload file here that I'm going to go ahead and preview. See how it sounds. And by the way, this is an MP3 file. So I'm halfway there. So now I'm going to uh, I'm going to take this file and I'm going to reveal in Finder. And I'm uh, sorry the window popped way over here <laughs> on my other desktop. And uh I'm going to rename this um to uh actually I'll make a copy of it. I'll I'll copy it to the the desktop. Just so I can have that to work with. I'll have that, this, this be my working copy, and then I'll rename this to Sonic, and uh, that was Green Hill Zone, and I'll put dash ringtone. Okay, so that's going to be my MP3. So now I'm going to, I got the MP3 done. Now I'm going to go over to iTunes. I'm going to just double click it to open it in iTunes, and it imports it. I can see is that it's kind of low, so I'm going to uh, go to my info here by 
hitting Command I, and again the window pop way over here. <laughs> and I'm gonna go to Options, and with ringtone sometimes I have to adjust the volume for my iPhone and for other phones, so I'm gonna go ahead and just make that the maximum volume. And uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to chop it up, and I, I did a video on how to chop up ringtones and iTunes before, but I'm just gonna do it real quick here. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to note the start and stop markers for where I want to cut it up and then I'm going to go into the options and change that so let's see so yeah I'll start at zero and it probably should go to about 29 or 30 seconds So I'm going to note this. I think that was about 28 seconds. I'm just going to do 28. That should be fine. By, the, by that time, I'll pick up the phone, hopefully. <laughs> so I'm going to do 0, 28. So what I did was I went back to the, uh, the options by hitting Command-I the options tab and I denote the start time of 0 and a stop time of 28 so now that I have that start and stop time I'm going to convert this to AAC which will convert only that portion that I set up in the options so I'm going to right click and then do convert selection to AAC and I should see a new file pop up here in a second and there it is and it's done so that's my ringtone file that I'm going to be working from. So what, to prevent confusion and also to get it to work, I'm going to remove the original. And uh, then I'm going to reveal in Finder, show in Finder the file I just converted. Going a little fast because I don't want to, it, it can be a lengthy process if I concentrate on every step. And again, I, I, I encourage you to go look at my old videos and where I detail how to do these things. So now I'm going to rename this file, the extension of it, and uh, oh, I'm sorry, I need to create a copy of it. So first, I'm going to create a, a duplicate of it, and I'm just going to uh, drag and drop it to the desktop again, so I can close this window now. And uh, now that I've made the copy, I'm going to delete the original. This is important. You need to make sure you only have one copy of this. So now I have that, and I'm going to go ahead and empty my trash. Go ahead and get that done. Okay. And trash is preparing, and it is emptying. There it goes. Okay. So now I have the file on my desktop here. The AAC file, which I just dragged, and I got to, which nook and cranny did I put it in? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? <laughs> I know you're there. All right, I'll go to Finder and look on my desktop. Okay, there it is. So what I'll do, it, it's hiding behind something, so I gotta come here. I'm gonna right click and do Get Info, and I'm gonna rename the file here. Now I told you how to do this in the video. You have to do it here because I think there are some checks and balances. You can't just rename the file itself. Uh, for some reason, iTunes is kind of smart in that it'll say, well, you can't do that. But if you do it from here, uh, it'll work. So I'm going to go ahead and do M4R, hit enter, and say use M4R. So now I'm done. That, my ringtone is pretty much done. So now I just need to add it to iTunes. And uh, I'm going to drop it in my, in my ringtone playlist here. And... Uh, just gonna drop it in there. Uh, computer's acting up. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Fine, I'll double click on it. And you see that I'm in my ringtone section now. And it's actually playing. So now I'm gonna sync my iPhone, but I'm not gonna show you that. Uh, actually, I could. I'm gonna stop the video here and I'm gonna sync my iPhone and. Uh, show you that it will play on there so I'll be right back in a second alright this is Buona from Buona.tv and uh, I'm back uh, right now I got my iPhone syncing 
uh, with the ringtone I made from the Sonic the Hedgehog video game and it's it's right now it's in the backup phase and I didn't want to uh, <laughs> I didn't want to record all of that because sometimes that can be lengthy it could be up to a minute to two minutes of just dead air so um, it's about 90% done backing up and then once it uh, once it synchronizes then I'll play the ringtone on the iPhone my fear is that it's going to be a little bit low because when I uh, when I played it in iTunes, it was a little bit lower than I wanted it to be. And I like my ringtones to be really loud. That was one of the reasons why I, I uh, increased the volume to 100% louder than what it actually was. And I see that it's copying. Okay, syncing photos. Syncing photos. Blah, 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 blah. Syncing photos. Come on, find them. Find them. Find those photos. This is generally the last step here. And and it's okay, it's done. So now I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna go into settings. And I'm gonna go to sounds. And I should see a sonic green hill zone ringtone. There it is. Let's see how it sounds. Yeah, it's not too bad. I'd like for it to be a little bit louder, so I might tweak it a little more. But that's not bad. So as you can see, I got a bunch of other ringtones on here. Tetris is my favorite. I'm sorry, Zelda is my favorite. I'm sorry, Super Mario Brothers is my favorite. <laughs> I'm sorry, Galaga is my favorite. <laughs> Starman! Anyway, this is Boy from Boy.TV, and this is how you create your own ringtones from uh, using Audio Overload, Audio Hijack Pro, basically capturing your own audio. And uh, man, that's gonna give me a migraine. <laughs> Capturing your own audio and uh, putting it on your iPhone absolutely free. Like the the process is a little bit cumbersome, but it don't only took me that long because I had to explain everything. But uh, you know, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. It's pretty simple. There's some Zelda for you. Talk to you later. Bye.